How we doing guys and welcome back to another episode of Sim Airport. My name is Will and we have good news. Um, well, we'll start with the bad news first. Bad news is I didn't upload a video on Tuesday. The reason for that is because the patch didn't go live yet. Good news is the patch went live and it fixed our bug with our workers here. So as you can see, they were all stuck up here. Um, did a little bit of playing around and stuff and just to make sure they were working. And they are, as you can see here, they are working. I just had to fire one and they all reset. Uh, another new feature is we got this planning button. I don't believe this was here before. Uh, I could be mistaken, but um, so yeah, we can do some planning. So we're gonna put that hanger uh, like right here. I don't know how big the hanger is, but so we can plan with this, you know, with these different colors. We can route out the taxiway. So if we want another taxiway, we can route it out here, that or whatever. That actually would probably be pretty smart. That way they don't have to go back and around and around and back and stuff to get up to the runway. Um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty neat. Um, shout out to the devs for actually fixing their game and not just abandoning us. Um, yeah, it is fixed as of now. There's a couple other issues that this patch caused, but uh seem to be pretty minor and I haven't had any problems with them yet. So we'll see how that works out, but we're going to jump right into it, I guess. And we are negative $910, so hopefully we can get some cash. Um, our guys are working on this utility uh, conveyor right here. As you can see, they're throwing that in. And then uh, hopefully that will fix this situation we got going here. Um, oh, so okay. So to get this operational, all we have to do now, looks like the conveyor is actually going to work. Holy hell, we have a lot of people. Um, we need to save up for a hangar. There's an object. Forgive me if I can't find stuff. It's been about a week since I've played. Uh, I believe the hangers are in here. So we can get some medium hangers, a uh, large hangar. Is there a small one? Is there a small hangar? Yes, there is. Okay. The small hangar is 28 grand. So we're going to save up for that one. That's going to be a minute. How big is it? Okay, it's, it's fairly small. So we will do blocked by road requires ramp area. Not enough money. Okay, yeah. So we should be able to place it there, and then we can buy a taxi cart for these guys to load the planes with. Um, until then, oh my god, we are just swamped. We're gonna slow this down a bit here. Oh my god, we are just swamped out. Oh, okay. So what are our workers doing? Workers are not doing anything at the moment. We have seven grand. So one of the problems that we were having before that I fixed in the previous episode, but I reverted the save because it was being stupid, is we added down some more vending machines and stuff. So we're going to add those down. Um, I was reading some comments. Another thing to uh, help our tiredness and frustration, stuff like that. They said we should place some seats and stuff over on this side as well. So we'll do that. we got quite a bit of trash coming here. Oh, my God. Uh, we are probably going to need a third TSA agent in, in line up here for, oop, oh my god, to fix this issue because this is going to cause major headaches here in a minute. Uh, in fact, let's do that first. Let's see if we can get the third TSA agent in there. Let's go build. Oh, objects. There we go. Bag scanner. Get the ID check stand first. Hopefully, gonna block. Is that gonna block our road? Well, hopefully they'll come down here and then walk up and around. We'll see though. All right, there's that. And now we need the bag scanner. I think it's testy. Okay, like so. And then let's get one of the body scanners since we don't have one. I think you can just use. Oh, just kidding. Their B one hundred dollars. I think you can just use one or the other. You don't have to have a, um, a metal detector. You can use the body scanner, but I don't think there's a difference between the two. So I guess we'll just use the metal detector since it's hella cheaper. Um, I think it's that direction. That. So that should work there. We got 1500 bucks. Let's see if we can, we can afford three benches. We'll throw down three benches over here. Um, just so people can rest a little bit, I suppose. That while they're waiting for their flight over here. Alright, and we're not going to have enough money to hire 
security because it costs two grand. So we are gonna hit fast forward. Let our workers get that stuff established real quick. There they go, they're throwing it in. Hopefully we'll make a few dollars and I can place down some more agents. Oh, looks like we already had a spare agent because right here. I just pointed at my screen thinking you guys could see me, but you can't. <laughs> um, but we must have had a spare agent there because uh, he's there. Checking IDs for us. Oh, oh, I forgot we have to sign this to the queue. They're not skipping in line. Can't have a skip in line. Okay, we, so we had a lot of missed flights there. That is unfortunate. But we kind of knew that was going to happen. Hopefully we can get a few bucks here in a second. Why are you guys walking through my gate? You guys should not be able to walk through this. It's just the... Huh. I'm not sure what's going on with that. They should not be able to walk through that. You can see all the reds on the right side. But they obviously don't care. Some are walking down here. Some are not. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if we should put another red gate here and see if that'll block them from going this way. Objects. Red gate. There's the red gate. Security exit. That's the right way. See if that blocks them from going out that direction. Man, look at all these people. Alright, they seem to be enjoying the chairs here, so that is good. Although, I put the chairs in backwards because I'm an idiot. <laughs> so that's a thing that happened. Alright, so let's get some of these vending machines in so we're not causing delays there. Um, refrigerator. Oh, that's for the kitchen. Oh, they did fix uh, some problems with the kitchen, so the kitchen might actually be worth placing down now, so we'll consider that in a later episode. I just want to get this stuff fixed first before we go expanding into crazy stuff. We got to get the airport operational first. All right, let's buy our extra TSA agents here. Um, do I need one more? Not enough money. Uh, um. Why are you just standing? Because of the gate? Huh. I guess we'll wait. Uh, he might just be stuck, so we'll send you home. You're not getting on a flight. Not at 12 midnight. That's not happening. <laughs> Alright, so I guess now that we've wasted a bunch of money again, we are just going to try to save up for that, uh, save up for this hangar right here. So I guess we will cut out for a second until I got a little bit of money, and I will be right back, guys. All right, guys, we are back, and as you can see, we are real close. Actually, ooh, actually we just surpassed it, so we're going to plop down this small hangar. Uh, right, right yonder. And we'll put it up here, right there. Boom. Dunsies. All right, under construction. So this got a percentage because it's one of the bigger things, just like placing these down. Hopefully our construction guys are gonna get to work here. Oh yeah, we're putting it up real quick. Beautiful. All right, and our small hangar is functional, so we can assign vehicles. Add, and we need a baggage car, I assume. And now we assign. Uh, oh, oh, okay, functional. Okay, is this thing working? Um, well, it's midnight, so no one's here, but... There's stuff going on at the carousel? Nope, he's still taking that. Alright, so maybe the next day, hopefully, it will just pump junk right onto the baggage carousel. Ideally, we'll find out, I suppose. Um... So I've noticed an issue, <laughs> as you guys can see here. Not sure what's going on. But no one boards, right? So it's 123 out of 259, but I have 130 people standing in line. There we go. They're slowly starting to board. 
but like they just kind of cluster up here and no one gets on and then eventually the plane will leave and then all these people will go home mad so i'm not sure what's going on with that maybe i need a longer queue maybe i need a second gate agent i'm not sure what's going on but a couple times it like bugs out and it just sends everyone home and then you miss out like on a thousand people not boarding their plane which sucks that's no fun, obviously. Alright, so what is this thing doing? Working? You guys putting your stuff on the conveyor? Yeah, see, okay, yeah, they're putting it on the conveyor now. Maybe it doesn't actually show up here, maybe that's just the thing. The other thing was a fueling truck. I don't know if we need that. Oh, I can't, because it's only... This is, so this is a small hangar, so I can only have one vehicle out of it, I suppose. Well, let's see. Stuff coming in through the yeah. See, there you go. It's on the carousel. We are good. We figured it out, boys. We had to work through a worker strike. We got it. We are operational. All right. Got our other TSA agents down while we were out. So our TSA line is moving real quick. Minimal cancellations here. They seem to not be going through security anymore f by putting this gate here, so not sure what was going on with that, but that seems to fix that. Oh yeah, look at all that baggage. Oh god. The middle mouse button move is kind of really testy. Very sensitive, I suppose. I could do this, but with my second monitor over here, it doesn't like to doesn't like to do that. So what I've noticed now is that when you place something on it, it kind of bugs out the grass. Can I remove this, the planning zone? Clear. Yes, you can. Okay, beautiful. That is good. Alright. Need to clean up this stuff over here. Um, what can we research? I can research finance. Ability to hire a CFO, conduct additional research, or unlock various financial related utilities, bank reports, bank loans, lower taxes, and improve profit. Okay. So we'll research that. The CFO, I believe, needs an office. So let's put the office. The uh, does he have to be beyond the security point, or probably not? I wouldn't think so, right? Probably not going to have enough money for this. We're gonna put it. No, it's gonna cost us ten grand easy for a decent sized office. We're gonna save up a little bit, then we'll get that foundation down, and we're gonna hire our CFO. Twenty-seven percent already, so it doesn't take that long to research it, which is good news. We are running smooth. Planes taking off, planes coming in, beautiful. To make a decent amount of money from loading up this bigger plane. Bringing the baggage over here. Baggage is already loaded. Beautiful. Not sure what we need. Um, not sure what we need a fuel truck for. Maybe you have to have a fuel truck for the real big airplanes, I guess. I don't know. Um, one of the next big things that we're going to have to save up for, though, is a control tower, which is very expensive as well. 30 grand. Which just allows us to schedule more planes and stuff. Because right now we are maxed out. You can only have 10 flights. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we might be able to throw one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We should be able to get one more flight actually in here if we wanted to. Goes up a little bit. See if we can get a flight in here. Uh, doing there we go. This guy's got one PM flight available. Afternoon. There. We'll accept it. We'll accept that. And um, P requires a large gate. Throw him up there. Nope. No crap. Bump these guys all up a little bit so I can squeeze him in here. Man, we are gonna be banging him out on this right up here. I'm gonna push him way back. 
how many that's 400 that's 180 500 90 go on you can go on the small gate there you go there you go that'll help us out a little bit dagger those all right so now we got our 10 flights in so we'll make a little bit more money assuming we can handle the people coming through and then to get more than 10 like i was saying we got to get that control tower down which is 30 grand which we're almost actually there the other thing we need to look into is oh where's it at though it's runway lights we need to get runway lights that way we can have so there's runway 100 grand for a second runway that's going to be a little bit down the road here um reports where is it at build is it building facilities oh. So yeah, it's got to be in objects, right? Runway lights, where are you? Okay, I don't know where they're at. I know I need them. We'll find them eventually. Uh, oh, here it is. Upgrade. That's how you do it. Gotcha. So we got to get some of this stuff down to get the lights. It also increases our airline interest up here by adding this kind of junk to it. Um, so that's going to help us out immensely. Um, I can throw down the tower now, once I hit 30 up here. But I don't know if we're actually going to be able to sustain more than 10 flights a day without going into night hours. Because, as you can see, our schedule is pretty full up and we're already having security issues. We can throw some, like, over here. And in the early, early morning, we'd be okay. But going, I have to buy the runway lights as well for that, which is 25 grand. But we will get down the airline, or the tower at least, might as well. And then we'll wrap up this episode after we get this bad boy down. We have to put it somewhere specific. I guess putting it there would make sense, or maybe there. We'll put it there, that would make sense, I think. Alright, so they're going to get that up. We still got to build our office. Didn't do that yet. All right, so they're pounding out our tower up here. There we go, beautiful. Now we can have more than our 10 flights, if we so choose. We probably could use another gate. Uh, I don't know if we want to do a small gate or a large gate. Probably another large gate. Um, I think we should also be careful, though. Because the farther you put these gates down this direction, the farther they have to walk. Which means they're going to miss more flights, so we should possibly consider maybe putting the gate down here somewhere. Uh, we will consider that. I think you can put them down there. I wouldn't. I can't see why not. I mean, we have all this space down here. Because that way, we, it sucks because we'd have to put a taxiway to get them to the runway up here. But I'm okay with that if people are not missing flights. Look at us. We are jam-packed up here. We could probably use some more ticketing guys as well. We will consider that, but we are going to wrap it up this episode right here because we're encroaching the 25-minute mark, and I don't want to make these videos too, too long. Um, so we got a lot done today. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know what I'm doing wrong because there's always stuff I can improve on, like me being an idiot and putting these benches backwards. So tell me to fix those, etc. Follow me over on Twitter if you want to know whenever I post videos live. I'm going to be doing a little bit of live streaming after this episode when it goes live. Uh, checking out a new game that I might do some videos on. So ch catch me over there at twitch.tv slash littlewells121. If you want to check that out. Man, my baggage claim was freaking out there. I don't know if you guys saw that. But until next time, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Damn James, how you still alive? Must be a miracle. Man, I guess so. I'm not quite sure. I'm a white dog, but my mother said I'ma be famous. Young you are white up in the matrix, and I'm pulling up on every agent. Yeah. Every shot you point is pointless. My diet skills be amazing. Movie living motion picture on power paramount. Said fuck bars, I ain't playing.